So the main data that we presented at the meeting was really the first time we presented data from our pivotal study in EBV positive post transplant lymphoproliferative disorder, or otherwise called EBV positive PTLD. And specifically, what we uh, did is, you know, our the product that we're testing is tabulacral cell in this phase three study. And Tabulex cell is an EBV-targeted T-cell therapy, so it specifically kills EBV-expressing cells or cells that have um, you know, express EBV antigens. EBV PTLD is something that occurs in a transplant setting. So when you have solid organ transplants or bone marrow transplants, you have immunosuppression during that. And because of the immunosuppression, you can get EBV reactivating. And when it does, it often behaves like an aggressive lymphoma. So that's what we're that, so that's what we're targeting ourselves. Now, the way that's normally treated is rituximab plus minus chemotherapy, and a, uh, and, a, and a good percentage of those patients who are treated in that fashion either don't respond or relapse once they uh, get that initial therapy. And once they uh, relapse or fail, they actually progress incredibly rapidly. So, for example, in the bone marrow transplant setting, they'll progress in less than one month to death. So it's a very aggressive uh, process there. In the solid organ transplant setting, they can progress in four months to death. That's the median uh, time frame. So again, very aggressive disease. We're studying patients where we're studying tablecosol in patients where they failed the rituximab-based treatments. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the study we had, um, or I should say in the data, we reported on 38 patients, 24 SOT and 14 HCT. And we showed a 50% um, best overall response rate, which really is remarkable given the aggressiveness of this disease. And that 50% was seen both in HCT and SOT. So the response rate in HCT was 50% as well as SOT. Importantly, the response was durable. And that's the main reason we presented this particular data cut, because those are some of the elements that the, some of the regulators like to see as durability response. So 11, 11 out of these 19 patients who responded had um, durable sur uh, survival out six through six months of follow-up. Obviously, we're continuing to follow those patients, but they'd achieved at least six months of follow-up where they had a response and they maintained that response through that time frame. So again, we have strong response rate, strong durability of response. And then lastly, when you look at the survival, you know, of course you want the response rate to translate into survival, we also had very strong survival data. So for those patients who responded to tablet health therapy, the one year survival was 89%. So again, when you compare that to some of the numbers I told you a little bit earlier about what to normally expect in bone marrow transplant and SOT patients who fail um, therapy for PTLD, those numbers, uh, we're very happy with those numbers and we think it's a real potentially transformational uh, benefit for patients.